Hey everyone, it's Rob Litton here from drumsofword.com. On my free YouTube video lesson for Pretty Noose by Soundgarden, I asked you guys for your song suggestions. The votes came in and Rain by Trivium was uh, given the most thumbs up. So today I'm going to show you uh, my favourite beats fills from the song, although I'll get my excuses out of the way early. I'm not a metal drummer, so um, I, I'll, I'll be able to show you what he plays, exactly what he plays, but not necessarily be able to play all the examples up to speed, but you'll see what I mean as we go into the lesson. You can download the free PDF for this lesson. There's a link beneath here. Like I said, I've got uh, six or seven of my favorite parts. Um, so you can have that out in front of you, print it out in front of you as we go through the lesson. And if you want to choose the next subject for my next free lesson here on YouTube, then please go into the comments below on this latest video and type your suggestions below. And if you see a suggestion you already like, give it a thumbs up so it moves up. And the ones with the most votes or the most thumbs up will be the subject of my next lesson. And if, as always, if you could like, comment, uh, share, and press the notification button on all my videos, then that would be really appreciated as well. All right, let's crack on with the first part. Okay, so this first groove and fill idea occurs nine seconds into the song, just after the intro drum fill, and Travis, Travis comes in with this blast beat, which, um, as I've already given my excuses, I won't go over again, but um, I just really can't play this stuff up to speed. It's uh, metal drumming requires years and years of, of practice. The double bass drumming techniques require years and years of practice. Just like jazz music, you can't just sort of go into it and just hope to play it. It requires dedication and time and, and years of your life playing that kind of music. And the same with metal, same with double bass drumming. It's just one of those things that if you haven't spent the time to build up the muscles in your legs and built the technique required to be able to play this super fast stuff, then you, you're not going to be able to play it. You just you can't you can't cheat it. So I'm going to show you exactly what he plays though. So don't worry. What we got here is Travis playing snare drum on one and two and three and four and, and the hi hat is playing sixteenth notes over the top. That's how I've chosen to count it. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. You could just play the hi-hats on one and the same time as the snare drum, one E and a two. That's all you can really hear on the recording, but Travis is using this sort of technique where you're not really hearing the notes in between the main notes there, but you can choose to play either way. That's what the accents above the snare drum notes mean. They're the, they're the loud ones and the ones in between sort of, you can choose to leave out if you wanted to. Underneath that, Travis is playing 30 second notes on the double bass drum, basically playing four bass drum notes per snare drum. So we get, we're counting one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. That's about as fast as I can get it before it starts to sound sloppy, even though that was actually quite sloppy. Um, so yeah, we're playing um, one and two and three and four and with the snare drum. And in the first bar, we've got a two bar pattern here. The first bar, the snare drum and crash are played on beat one. The second bar, we get a snare drum and crash on beat one again, and on beat three. One E and a, two E and a, three. We then play three, three E. And then Travis does this cool idea where he plays, and it doesn't matter what toms you use. By the way, this, this, this song has loads of different toms in it. Um, I, I'm going to use all four in this lesson, but you could just use two toms. It doesn't really matter. You choose which toms you want to use, but two of his higher pitched toms here, and I've written it as the high tom and the medium tom. We get um, and a uh, on the first tom with the hi hat at the same time, and a uh, four, and then e and while that double bass drum is going underneath it. So the second bar slowly one e and a uh, two e and a uh, three e and a uh, four e. And a one. Do that again. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. So let's now hear what those two bars played kind of up to speed, as far as I can get it. And without a microphone, so you can hear just the drums, so it sounds nice and clean for you guys. Here we go. Okay, so this next groove and fill idea occurs 18 seconds, and this I can play for you up to speed. It doesn't require 30 second notes on the double bass drum. 
We've got a four bar pattern here. Um, it's really the drum fill in the fourth bar that's, that's the most interesting part, but I thought I'd give you the groove before, because this groove gets played a few times in the song. He's basically playing eighth notes on the crash cymbal, um, but you're accenting the downbeats, doing this kind of thing. You could just you could play just you could choose just to play quarter notes if you wanted to though. Uh, the first bar we got this pattern: one and two and a three and four and one and two and a three and four and the second bar similar: one, a two and a three and four. Then we go to thirty second notes with the hands and just choose two toms. It doesn't matter which two toms you use. I'm going to use these two because they're in front of me. We play and a one and a one. Gonna be, gonna be quite fast though, up to speed. So that second bar, one, a two, and a three, and four, and one. One, a two, and a three, and four, and one. We then go into the third bar, which is basically the same, but without the drum fill at the end. One, a two, and a three, and four, and. Then we get this cool um, uh, bar, this drum fill. And I've got what he plays here. The sticking, however, I'm not sure the sticking Travis used. I'm going to show you the sticking that I like to, that I would choose to play this with. But he might have chosen a different sticking. And if you want to use a different sticking, that's absolutely fine. But what he plays here with the bass drum pumping underneath, one and two and three and four and, is we get the, the E of each beat doubled up into 30 second notes. So I'm going to play these as single strokes. So the first note, I'm going to play it on the medium tom. That's what I think he plays, his, his second highest tom. Leave out the bass drum for now. We get one E and, uh, and I play right, right, left. It's not so fast that my right hand can't come down to start it. One E and, uh. we then just continue the single strokes. Two E and, uh. so it have to be right, left, right, left, right. Then three, just continuing the single strokes. Three up to the highest tom, E and, uh. so three E and, uh. And then just simply four E and. So you can hear that each E there is doubled up into two 30 second notes. With the bass drum underneath. Missed it. So we get full four bars together at a medium tempo. One, Two and a three and four and one, a two and a three and four and one, a two and a three and four and one. I sort of stopped counting at that point because you can sort of feel it. So here's what those four uh, four bars sound like played up to speed. Okay, this next fill occurs at 1 minute 05. It's my favourite fill in the song. Um, and just giving it, it sort of starts on the and a beat too. So the first part of the bar is just really the groove that's continuing previously. He's up on the ride cymbal. We get one, a two into a snare and crash on two there. Then we go to our highest tom. It doesn't have to be though, it could be the second highest. It doesn't matter which toms you use. And we're playing 30 second notes, groups of six between the hands and feet. Four here and two on the bass drum. Really useful for playing through triplets, but we're actually playing through 30 second notes here. So it's not a triplet idea, it's playing through 30 second notes. Remember that each 30 second note takes up the, sorry, each 16th note um, uh, takes uh, two 30 second notes to fill. So if we're counting and uh, three, then we've got two notes per 16th note that we're counting. So we get this group of six here. Then next highest, Tom, group of six again. Straight into a snare and crash, doesn't matter which crash you use. We then go back to 16th notes, 4E, and then he plays a flam on a floor tom, or the next lowest tom, and we get this flam tap idea, left hand flam left. He could be playing or between two different toms, it doesn't really matter, but I think I've, he's playing it on one tom, and we get flam tap. So we get one, a two, and a three, and it's hard to count these, so I'll just play it around a few times. As you heard, I'm, I'm going to mess up with this if I try and count it. Uh, one, a two. One, a two, and three, e, and a three, e, and a. Let's try and count it for you. One, 
a two and a three E and a four E and I'm messing it up now. One, a two and a three E and a four E and a one. That was it. I'll go around a few times and I'll, I'll perfect it. One, a two and a three E and a four. One, a two and a three E and a four E and a one. It's because the camera's on. I put myself under pressure here, but there you go. I got it in the end. One, a two and a three E and a four E and a one. Not as high as I thought. It's a lot of fun to play that. So here's what it sounds like played up to speed. So for this next section, Travis is playing 16th notes on the double bass drum, not the 32nd note. So again, I can play this up to speed for you. We're basically just playing 16th notes all the way through um, all the bars. Uh, the first three bars are groove and the fourth bar has a drum fill in it. And the ride cymbal is, is playing basically this, apart from a few breaks in it in, in, this, in the second bar. One and two and a three and four and. We've got this and a three each time. One and two and a three and four and. The snare drum back beat is being maintained on beats two and four. One and two and a three and four and. One E and a two and a three and four and. One and two and a three and four and one. And then Travis moves to the toms with his left hand so we take a look at the first bar. We've got this going over from the first bar into the second bar. From the and of beat four there, we play and a uh, three E and. And a uh, three E and. It starts with a crash on beat one, by the way, the first bar. And at the end of that first bar, and a uh, three E and. We then go into a snare and crash on beat two of the second bar. Two and a uh, three and. And a snare and crash on beat four um, there. Four and a one. That time, um, Travis comes off the ride cymbal for to play those two notes, it could be any time you like, as a, as, as a single stroke. And a one, and a one, four and a one. And we got the double bass drum pumping underneath it. So the first two bars, one and two and a three and four and a one, E and two and a three and four and a one. One and two and a three and four and a one, E and I'll play up to speed for you in a moment. The third bar is, well, going from the first to the second bar is exactly the same as we had going, um, sorry, the third to the fourth bar is exactly the same as the first and the second. We've got the um, and, a, um, and a one E and two occurring again. And then for the fourth bar, we got our drum fill. Starting on the and a beat two, up to your highest, starting on your highest tom, this is where it require all four toms, but you could just split, um, you know, uh, play it on two toms if you wanted to. You just got to not move down the tom so quickly. Stay on the same tom for two more notes, for example. We get and a uh, three E and uh, so thirty second notes there and uh, and the bass drum is playing and uh, and uh, and uh, three E then and uh, then four E and uh. so just basically from the and a beat two and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one with the double bass drum underneath it. So that second uh, line, bars three and four, one and two and a three and four and a one E and two and three E and a four E and a one. Draw that again for you, that's a bit sloppy. Again, it's quite sloppy. That'll do. So I'll play up to speed for you now, but here's what all four bars sound like played properly. Okay, this next groove stood out for me because I love what Travis was doing with the ride cymbal. Very simple idea. He's playing 16th notes. It occurs at three minutes 26. He's playing 16th notes on the double bass drum and he's playing this right cymbal pattern. One E and two and a three and four E and. One E and two and a three and four E and. With the snare drum back beat on beats two and four. One E and two and a three and four E and. One E and two and a three and four E and. Well, that was really cool, so I thought I'd include it. Here's what it sounds like, play properly without a microphone on.
So for this last example, we'll occurs right near the end of the song, three minute 49. We're going back to 30 second notes on the double bass drum. So I'm gonna show you what he plays, but not necessarily up to speed. Uh, he's playing quarter notes on the open hi-hats, one and two and three and four. And for beat one, we're just playing eight 30 second notes. One, uh, counting it, one E and uh, two. One E and uh, two. We then go into beat two with a bass drum on the E. Two E, so we're not playing 30 second notes, no, 30 second notes there, it's just two E and a, two E and a, and then beat three it just repeats, so we get one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Then for the second bar, it starts the same, one E and a, two E, and then for beat three, we get these eighth note triplets, three triplet, four triplets. I'm not sure of the sticking that Travis uses. It could just be left, right, right, left, right, right, snare, crash, crash, snare, crash, crash, or it could be single strokes. Like that, it doesn't really matter how you choose to play it. Um, it's not so fast that you couldn't play it as left, right, right, left, right, right, or left, right, right, left, right, right, however you wanted to play it, but you could also play it as single strokes. So slowly the two bars, Let's now hear played at close speeds that, uh, well, as close as I can get it. Here we go. So there you go, guys. I hope you had fun with that. And I also hope you forgive me for not being able to play all these examples up to speed. Like I said, it's not really my style of music. Um, not my, I haven't got the double, double bass drumming technique down, but I did my best for you guys. It was voted and asked for what you hear on YouTube, so I didn't want to let you guys down, even though I couldn't necessarily play it. So don't forget you can download the free PDF that comes with this lesson. Um, and also make sure that you write down in the comments below for this video, uh, the next song suggestion that you would like me to teach. Uh, it can be another metal song if you like, but uh, uh, again, I'd have to give my excuses if, if, it's, if it's super fast. But any song you like, write it down below and give it a thumbs up if, if you see another suggestion that you like and uh, we, we can compile the votes and that'll be my, the subject of my next free YouTube video. And then if you could also like, comment, share, press the notification button, etc., etc. And then you might also want to sign up to become an online member at drumsoftheword.com where I teach you over 300 songs from start to finish. Not just these little lessons where I teach you parts of the song. I teach you the whole song from start to finish. You get the full PDF drum chart for each video song lesson. I give you hundreds of freebies for signing up to the website, loads of videos, just like this video, teaching you hundreds of famous beats, fills and solos. The transcription comes with each video. And then over the year of your subscription, which you sign up for for $97, you get instant online access to all the new material that I'm uploading for my members every week. But like I said, I've got over 300 famous songs now on the website. You can check and search for them all over at www.drumstheword.com. Come over to Facebook as well and say hi. I'm also giving away loads of cool stuff over there on a regular basis. But until our next drum lesson together, toodle pip, happy drumming to you.